Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. So I'm at my shop. We just got done shooting a pretty epic episode of Hot Rod Garage, so I'm pretty jazzed on that. It's the triathlon episode where uh, Tony picked out a C5 Corvette, found a great deal on it, and then uh, had it shipped to... Uh, actually, picked it up before the whole uh, COVID-19 dealy, but I had it shipped to the tech center. Been sitting there for months, and I was kind of curious what was going on to it because I don't generally pay attention. And uh, yeah, I got the message last week that we're going to do a bunch of uh, in performance improvements on the motor, heads, cam, uh, intake, uh, nice tune, and then uh, take it drag racing. So that's going to be episode one, and then episode two and three. Now we're going to ship the car. We did all the drag racing yesterday at the racetrack. And then ship the car out to uh, Philly. And that's where Tony is going to do the other two parts of the triathlon. That will be uh, road racing and drifting. Or as Tony pronounces it, drifting and drifting. Drifting with smoke, drifting without smoke. Those, I guess, are two other options for him. And so, uh, yeah, I'm a little beat. But I've been uh, working on my truck, trying to get it ready to go to the track. I've been having some issues with... Uh, pinion angle in the back as you may be aware of my collection of broken drive shafts and when I put the motor and transmission in I put it in wherever it sat which was about three degrees down in the back but now I like the vehicle to be real low and for the vehicle to be real low the drive shaft yoke to the rear and then from the pinion yoke forward the lines have to be parallel and opposite of each other so one going up one going down you cannot make the rear pinion go up ever um, according to David Freiberger and everybody else on the planet. So, I put the rear pinion a little bit down and, uh, oh, now you can see it right there. A couple, two or three degrees down. And the problem is the front pinion is still zero because my drive shaft here, the, the uh, crank and output of the Transmission is down 2.40 degrees. I put this thing down. I can't have them both going down. That creates a vibration, a hideous vibration. I'm able to move the pinion up and down by using the turnbuckles that QA1 build into their lower arms. So it's really easy to do. Just pull it, especially I got a four post lift. I'm super spoiled. But I pull it up on the lift. I just hop under here with an inch and an eighth, inch and a sixteenth, I think it is. And I can just move those back and forth and take a half a degree, one degree. Uh, go up. Well, I was able to try absolutely everything to prove the fact. I should have sh filmed all that, but since it was a uh, test and test, there wasn't any tuning going on. Um, I just messed with it, messed with it, messed with it. And the answer to the question is very simple. The transmission needs to go higher. I made a couple of spacers and put them in there, lifted the transmission. That's a cool thing about the HPI frame reinforcement kit that I have under here. It, uh, it works pretty well. It works great. I'm super jazzed on it. It allows me to uh, keep the frame rigid. Uh, change my anti-squat right here with that lower arms. The only thing I will have to do, because this is a 4L80 now, is maybe notch that upper tube right there. Because I'm getting ready to... Are you ready for this? cut out part of the floor so that the transmission can go in to the cab. Right now, I don't know if you can really tell, you probably can't see, but yeah, the transmission is almost on the floor and I don't want that, I mean, this is a driver, so I don't want the vibration in the cab. Uh, I want everything to work. Um, I got Dynamat in there and sound deadening and stuff, so I'm not so concerned about weight. If it's too heavy, I'll just add more horsepower. But uh, the way it is right now, you can kind of see here, the pinion angle is pretty straight, which means harmonics are going to occur in the front U-joint right here, vibration. And especially with the, the drive, with the transmission pressed against the bottom of the cab, it is just an uncomfortable ride. So not cool. And then also, I'll admit it, I'm still a little gun shy from the time the drive shaft came through the friggin' or almost came to the floor, tried to kill me. Um, that drive shaft is still over there. So we got a decent angle in the back, as you can see on camera, but the front is zero, which means the vibration is going to be towards the front. I think the deal here is you want both U-joints to work equally. You don't want one U-joint to not work 
or to work harder than the other. If you do, that is the weaky joint, it will come apart. Now that I've explained all that in a manner that will confuse everyone, including myself, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. And, uh, in lucky terms. Hold please, coming down. <laughs> So, is it in there? It's not in there. I took the seat out. I took out the mat. You can see the Dynamat right here. I'm sorry, the boom mat. Stereo system right there. Um, some things I need to fix anyway was my uh, inappropriate, non-professional way of putting my um, buckles in. I actually have the eyelets for that from Simpson. Um... Say so yeah, wiring under the dash is a mess. I should have maybe lowered it a little bit more so you didn't see what a mess my wiring is. But that's actually going to be a whole nother episode down the road when I yank all the wiring out of this thing and rewire it completely. All right, so what I've done is I've cut the dynamat out all the way around that because this is called the, the low hump floor or almost no hump. Luckily, AMD Auto Metal Direct make a repop of the high hump. Oh, the, today's Wednesday too, so this all works out well. It is hump day. Guess what my thumbnail is going to say. So, uh, this is the high hump. Once I cut out how General Motors was nice enough to put the little indentation all the way around, I cut right on that line my cutoff wheel without trying to make too much of a mess. I will then set this in and you'll see right there, a nice little flat surface, right there. I will massage it around until it's nice and secure. I will then mark all of these holes. I will put nut starts in them. I will then remove this. I will put the rubber mat back in and trim it around that. And then I will most likely wrap that in upholstery and uh, maybe even contour a couple of little soda holders on that. And it will be a removable tunnel just in case I need to get to the transmission, which makes absolutely zero sense. There's nothing serviceable on the top of that transmission, but just the idea of having a removable tunnel seems kind of cool to me. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, you know what, I do recall somebody asked me about what sound system I have in here. The stereo is just a couple of six by, oh, actually six and a half in little enclosures. I throw in the kick panel right there. Um, it's an infinity amplifier with a Bluetooth system. The microphone is actually built into the infinity little head right there. It's not very expensive at all. And uh, is this thing not focusing? Yeah, still not very good. So uh, the thing cool about that, it links to my phone as soon as I turn the key on, if I get a phone call, um, it, uh, I can take a phone call while I'm driving. It's not terribly loud in here. It's not, it's not a Lexus. It is an American made muscle truck. And uh, it sounds like one when I'm talking on the phone. So that said, I am gonna go into chopping stuff up now. So, um, yeah, enjoy.
Okay, so there it is, cut up, cut out, trimmed up, marked. I only see one small casting on the tail housing underneath here. It's about three quarters of an inch in case I need the space. I can take that little piece off. It's just a little tab, kind of like this. I'm sure it's part of the tooling for casting the thing. Um, I've got plenty of room to lift the back of the transmission up as far as it needs to go for me to achieve upward angle so that the rear differential can get the downward. Upward downward, you know what I mean. All right, get this transmission adjusted. See you guys. Okay, can't think of anything else to tell you. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend, share the video if you like it, leave me a message if you don't. Leave some comments, I'd like to hear what you gotta say. Thanks a lot, you guys, stay safe. See you at the track.